We now return to Conan Exiles. Alright, so as you can see, I've experimented a little bit with a different type of, uh... Yeah, let me... A different type of tower expands a little bit beyond what I had last time. I've fixed the roof a little bit, too, uh, to make it look a little bit differently, and I have figured out how to get these roof pieces to actually work. Uh, I put windows up along here, which are kind of clipping through, and then that gave me the connection points. Now, that looks a little bit different. I've also made the door, um, and uh, added this out here, which is a little bit of a pain, because with this door in the way, uh, I actually had to take it out to add more to it. It's a real pain. But anyway, uh, so I think what I want to do is rebuild this side to look like that side, but I had another thought on how I want it to look as well, so I'm going to spend some time here making another tower, and uh, first we're going to put in a floor now. Hold on. I did change some stuff here. Okay, so I got this floor, and then I've got the... I guess it's the Terranian floor of that. Trim zoomed in. Okay. Going to Yamatai. Um, actually, you know what? Changed my mind on that. The back. I'm gonna go back to the arena. So, in order to uh, speed things up and make sure that things are actually working uh, for the episode and, and having something interesting to watch, I'm going to just get this done and then I'll probably skip the other towers. I had a different thought on how I wanted this to go. It's not doing it for me right now, so I guess I need to put in... Um, it's here. Is it Terranian? No. Alright, let's go find out what this is. Frontier. It is Frontier. I do want to get this done. So that we can move on to actual... actual stuff that's going on with the game. The reason I want to do it that way instead is because... to try pillars instead up here and see how that looks. doesn't look very friendly, does it? Thank you. 
I do like that. I'm not sure I like the bottom, though. Now I'd, I'd better replace some of these things or else it's going to collapse on me. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, that's definitely a better way of doing that. So, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I will build all towers identical, and I will come back. All right, so that's actually pretty easy to set up. So let's finish the walls here. still in fly mode. That's fine. Now, I want these to be one, two, three, four, five. Do that. We will offset that. I don't... Mm, that is awfully close, isn't it? Well, we'll see. I, I kind of wanted it offset because, again, the model in Emperor looks like it's offset, but that just might be the isotopic angle. Isometric, not isotopic. Isometric angle um, that makes it look like it's offset. It might actually be better to have it centered because it's kind of close. But I did want a, a little bit of a space up front for, like, a courtyard. So we'll, we'll stick with it. See how it works. It, it is pretty crowded anyway. I'm using the Heavenly Compound model. And it does get kind of crowded because of how big it is. Thing is, um, I don't have a plan for these just yet. So I know I'm going to have something come up here. It's going to be a two story building. And I guess the back wall is going to be a part of this. Now, one thing I was thinking, just for the sake of contrast, because especially for interior, like, this stuff is incredibly plain. So for the actual buildings, I'm just wondering if maybe that's going to be too stark of a contrast there. Uh, back to it here. Let's do that. Mm. I don't think these are going to look good if I change this. What if I did stone walls there? I was thinking maybe I'd put the red one down there and then, like... Dang it. <sighs> Why are you so finicky? Alright. Let's get out of fly mode here. These are actually going to be pretty tall. So let's uh, let's look at roof here. Uh, now I want to fly again. All right, let's just get back to fly. So to make this work similarly, we are going to go with uh, well, not those. I should keep the roofs the same. 
Not the right roof. Maybe I should actually go with those ones then. me to do that, which then allows that, and really, I don't know, I mean, sticking out kind of would look better slightly. So it, it is, I mean, they're all fairly tall, uh, which is accurate to the model. In fact, it is the main house that looks to be three layers tall with roof, like it's going to be pretty big. See, as far as that goes, I'm just not sold on the wall. I'll build the structure, I can always replace the wall later. Messing around with it. And again, once I figure out what I'm actually doing here now, hmm. Maybe we'd like to have a doorway here, so that you can actually connect straight to the towers. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe here, that way I'll have a stair that goes up along that balcony. And then I can have... okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to get a picture in my head. Like I said, this is the one part that I am just faking right now. I did not have a plan for this one. Um, in fact, uh, one thing I was thinking of was picking up these uh, platforms here because um, each of these little huts is actually up on a plinth. If it would work, it wouldn't. I would like to. And I can have sort of what I had going on out front here be the uh, actual way up. And maybe I'll still do that. Right now, though, let's just put that back. Because that would, that would deepen it and uh, allow me to have, like, a garden space. But it would also raise the height of everything, so I'm going to have to be cautious about that. Raise the height even more than it is. Okay. So it looks like... You know, I might want to do that, because by the look of this thing, it's got a pillared front end, which I'm not going to get out of what I'm doing here. Um, where am I, Yamatai? And maybe... <laughs> maybe I could alleviate the height of this thing. Because what it actually looks like on the model here, it does go above the wall. It, the, the building peaks out above the wall, but it 
looks like it's only one level tall, so to give the illusion of that, I could lower the roof to along the wall here. So that it gave it... Oh! Meteors! So that is going to be around... I think it's actually going to be more around here. But yeah, it's uh, in the middle of the map. Hmm. Because otherwise, yeah, this is looking really tall. Which, uh, you know, again, okay. If I did that, though, if I lowered the roof like that... Well, no, actually, that would still work out. Let's try it, let's try it. Um, let's try it on this side and see how this one works differently. It is going to stick out a ways. Yeah, see, that's going to... Hmm. Immediately going to clip into this stuff over here. Which is not bad per se. See, I wish these, these shorter ones actually connected up against the wall. Instead of having that really awkward... one tile instead of two. All right. Because if I were to do that out here... I mean, I think that looks bad. Yeah, let's not do it. I just have a very, very tall looking building in here, and that's fine. I guess. I'll probably hate it and change my mind, but I can do that later. And actually, if I did want to mimic this... And that became big. It looks so much bigger. I could do something like that. That might help a little bit. Dang it. Took out the wrong thing. So then we need a stair. So I should be able to get a lot of my crafting stuff here. And I'm just thinking what I could actually do to make this useful. I was just going to put like a little, uh, little half platform out here. Could just cover over it entirely. Ah, dang it. Stick with the Amatai.
Well, again, it does it does fit. It just looks too tall. But it otherwise does sort of fit what I'm going for. And it leaves me a very large area up front here, which is also something I want. So, with that in mind, for uh, the possibility of tearing out some of these things and having an actual grass courtyard, another thing is that it's got a bridge that leads over to sort of the paved area. And I happen to have drawbridges available now. I think they look pretty big. Let's actually go into knowledge. Uh, I think it might have been unlocked with the elevators, actually. Drawbridge. Oh. I don't have that available to unlock just yet, but yeah, it's right there. So I have to see how far... Well, it... Okay. Let's just go into creative mode. Just so I can see what it looks like. And then I guess I go... Uh... The decoration, maybe? Walkway? It's not that. Here's the brown mulch that I... Okay. Yeah, so that's what that is. It's just a placeable... Light storage bed. Must be building pieces then. Special? There it is. Countertops. Oh, okay. So what does this look like? To an appropriate slot in an existing building. To an appropriate slot. Uh, what does that mean? Because with this, you just clip it onto the side, and I'm pretty sure that's how you used to do this. You just clip the... Hmm. Interesting. I don't know how drawbridges work. It looks big, though. Like, it looks way bigger than what I'm actually thinking. Like, that would span pretty much like five long I think anyway it's not gonna work okay well um, I do think we're gonna have to put something out front here or figure out something with the, the roof the roof is just too tall I really don't like how that looks but if I just lowered it by one wall um, then we're cutting like all of my my space. Like, I wanted a lot of space for the building and crafting stuff so that this time around I could have multiple things. Like, I could have multiple furnaces underneath here now. Or something. Uh, so that in situations like this, I can have multiple crafting and uh, make that go. I'll, I'll go ahead and just build a, a second building over there just so we can have that space taken up and uh, I might tweak things later off-camera. Okay, so I was experimenting with facades. I am not sure which I prefer. I, to me, this feels more Chinese than the little one, but the little one doesn't look as awkward and take up as much room. Obviously I'm gonna have to rethink where I'm putting windows and stuff. Um, also I was playing around more with having this grass courtyard and I definitely think I want to do that. I, I like this actually. This looks way better than just having big paved areas. Um, so I'll definitely do that. Uh, for now though I need to finish up what I'm doing out here which is I need now make see basically this is going to be a four yeah four by five building yeah all right let's go to tone now I mean this one this one alone might also just be Difficult 
thing for me to, to get because this one looks like well first of all it looks like it's raised but we can do this to make it look raised and can't be though because it's gonna have to it almost have to be five because if it's gonna meet in the middle for the roof it's gonna have to be an odd number which means I suppose I could have this the pillared area I mean three is uh, fairly deep I guess. I just... Well, I'll, I'll do it in the Yamatai setup anyway, but I think I might end up changing what I'm building it out of. It just doesn't look all that great. It's clashing. It's too, too much of a contrast. I also have to think about where, damn it, where I'm going to put gates. As far as I can tell on this model, the gates are like right here. So I could cut them out, just make it a, a double passageway. But if I want easy access to back here, um, obviously putting a door here is not a great idea. I was thinking of putting it here. Because putting it here, <laughs> it gets closed off again. So I might have to rethink all that, but I could also easily just have back doors here. But whatever, we'll worry about that later. Um, okay. So this is another reason, I guess, for only having a short entranceway here so that I can actually get in here. I'm imagining I would put like a stair here or something to get up into the towers. Whereas here, this is going to get real tight. Uh, but no, if we're going to... We're gonna do pillared entryway. On the ground floor. See if I shifted those forward, I could extend it out. Ah. This is, this is hard to judge. I should have made a plan for this one. I'll just... let's go with it. I was actually trying to make the model work with uh, Conan's building scheme. It doesn't really work. I did want the opening here to be too high, and then we can make a small upper level. This doesn't really work if I'm not extending this all the way out. So you got to think about where the staircases go. So if we do 
that, and that is not a very grand staircase. This one, however, is a little too ostentatious. But if we we're going to go with something like that, then at least the ground floor is going to have to be stuck out a bit. Which ruins the idea of a pillared entryway. Something had to be beside it before it would allow me to change directions on it. Yeah, this is gonna look awkward. Well, I guess that that sets it as this one then to make it shorter. We'll make a nice big, big old, big old. Oh, you know what? I another uh, building that I always liked was uh, Aang's from Avatar: Last Airbender. His uh, house in Bossing Se. I always liked the look of that. Uh, Kitan. Well, we can go Yamatai. If I wanted this to look like a tatami room, an actual tatami room, they would alternate. But I think because it's odd... Odd numbering, it's gonna look weird if I do this. No, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'll fix all this finicky stuff later. On my own time, um, you know, maybe maybe this is where we want to shorten this. And then... Now that's going to be really awkward there, but we can do... Ah, hit the wrong buttons. Like that. Why am I? Why am I doing this? Go back to flying. Zoom in. There. Making this way harder than it has to be. Stagger correctly. I'm gonna have to wonder if I can shorten that. Right, though. 
Yeah, this is all kind of wrong. <laughs> this is not good. So I guess it would be those that are out of place. actually need for like the upstairs is something like this with all the pillars. It doesn't work because of the way I've got the staircase. Alright, well, I'll worry about this building off camera. Um, it's just going to have to be one of the things that I don't build. Otherwise it's going to take forever for me to get it right. So let's at least do the things that I know. And we two Katon. Oops. That's not it either. That one. Is that it? I guess that is. Alright, so let's, uh, okay, okay, now, another thing about this model is that there's actually a gate that goes into the area here. I don't know that I can make anything like that. One thing that I wish more of these sets had was what the Argosians have. They've got, uh, little pillars, like that, but they also have large temple pillars that come in three parts. So you can make, like, a really nice, large, gated pillar type thing that no other set has. Even the Aquilonian set doesn't have this. It'd be nice, and, and maybe there's a mod. Um, there's a lot of architectural mods that people have made, but it'd just be nice to have something like this. Because you don't have to have it, you know, all the way tall, either. You can just cap it off right here and it's just very versatile and I would imagine that this would be something that would be really helpful in all these other content packs. I don't know why they decided to only make it for the Argosian. But uh, anyway. So this this pillar then that I'm going to try here for might not turn out right. Uh, where am I going to put it? Another storm. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. It is obviously a lot more elegant than this because it doesn't use platforms. And there's no way for me to center fences. I'm pretty sure I can't center a fence. Yeah. So, never mind. <laughs> that's just, that's not going to happen. Unless I really want to simplify it and make it look different. But, uh... Okay, well, anyway, so let's get on with... Um... Arena. Get on with this. Well, let's let's do this uh, in two places.
because I want to see what this looks like going in a couple different lengths. I mean, that's not actually the right one. Let's put down the right one. And that will go there. And this inner one will go here, because it would connect up to that. Or, do we want it going all the way around here? Now, if I do that... I'm going to have to think about what I've got going on here. Um, I mean, which could could be the whole thing, because I'd, I'd want it to mirror this. guess going all the way around, it just eats into a lot of the uh, space that I've got here. Oh, maybe I don't want to do this. Because I think what's going to happen is we're going to see a lot of bushes in here respawn, so that might become an issue for me. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you come out here, Or just have this shorten up here. Because I don't know what else I would do here. Oh, see, it's already respawning. Okay. Alright, this is why we paved over everything. Now I do have an option of... Uh, oh my god, it's spawning real fast. I do have the option of going down here... Uh, ghost. And then, like... Can I not... Can I not snap anything? Is that not... Hmm. Anyway, my, my point is I could come down here and cheat. Uh, and then do under... Oh yeah, like this thing is just going to be absolutely full. Now, if it's not too bad, I know it was really bad right here, but if it's not too bad here, I think it is though. Or, alternatively, I could just fix my radial, because I think that's in... Oh, I don't know what it's called. Building? Um, you'd think it'd be in building. Anyway, it's it's like a claim radius or something. And now that I think about it, for some reason it might be the only one that I can... I can only do it in uh, the, when I'm setting up the server. Anyway, I'll find it. But I've got it set to like the lowest possible. And I did that so that I could do things like, my god, oh, it's just, it, this is an actual, oh. Is that just me, or is that closer? What bothers me is that uh, this used to actually show on the map. I th so I think what's going on is it's actually the maelstrom and it's actually raining. Like, there's an actual... Oh. 
Um, there's an ac actual storm playing out too for weather. Um, interesting. Really interesting. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a pain in my ass. All right. <sighs> Shoot. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out something. Um, let's turn off. Turn off. Oh, you know what? It. You know why it's raining? Because I'm in ghost mode. For some reason. For some reason that I have n no fathoming of. I swear that is getting closer though. What the hell? That, that there's no way it was that close before. The maelstrom doesn't move. It's it's moving though. Unless that's just an optical illusion. When you stare at something, it uh, looks like it's moving. I don't... Well, because when we saw it last, I was further away, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of, but... Like, I can't get a point of reference to see if it's actually moving. It doesn't... it doesn't look like it. It just seems much closer than it's ever been before. I guess we'll know when it finally goes away some point. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, when you go into ghost mode, for some reason it decides you need a thunderstorm. I guess for the spooky factor or something. Um, makes it damn hard to see, though. Well, shoot. Yeah, we gotta do something about this. I, I do very much like the look of it, though. Like, this actually looks better. It feels better than just a big old bunch of slabs and whatnot. I can't see shit, which means you probably can't either. Can we change the time of day at least? There we go. It was nighttime, no wonder. It'd be nice if you could turn that off in here somewhere, turn off the storms. I mean, I until I'm ready to tackle that, I could actually turn that off in server settings as well. <sighs> Shoot. I don't know, I do really like this. Let's, uh, let's delete a few more, just to see how close this thing gets. I want to see these respawn. They respawn fast, too. But if this is all there is, I'm, I'd be okay with leaving that. Because I, I could put just, like, a pillar in the ground. I wouldn't actually need to snap it to anything. I wonder, let me try something else real quick. This is probably going to look real bad. Let's raise this up as I can get it. Then we go into... Oh, I'm going to have to put that on. Ah, always go into first person. get those directions going the right way. Okay, I mean, that works. That doesn't look so terrible. I would very much like to line it up properly, of course. Um, but that could do it. That could do it. Unfortunately, I was hoping its radius would handle these bushes a little bit more, but like I said, uh, it's not such a bad thing. In fact, what I could do is I could build a well, and then, well, no, because the, again, the radius wouldn't be enough. I was going to say I could put a well down and then put a brick or something in the well, and that might take it. I don't know. That's not too obnoxious. What about you?
Doesn't look like there's anything over here. That could be good. I do like this sticking out a little bit further like this. It actually looks pretty good. It would look good too if I maybe put a fence here. Maybe. Defeat some of the functionality of it, of course. And wait a minute, wasn't there another one? Uh... I forget which one I used in the tavern in the previous series. Median fence. I mean, that just looks awful. Uh, was it the frontier fence? Actually, that looks pretty cool, aside from the spikes. Wasn't flotsam. Stages are just stages. I guess maybe it was this one. Which just looks too tall. It looks nicer, though. I do kind of like that it's just plain and without the spiky bits. Let me get up here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure out something. Okay, yeah, so nothing is spawning over here. So it's just these hops bushes here in the middle I have to deal with. I th There's got to be a way for me to go down below, though, and, and attach something. Because if, if I could go make a pathway below there... That should be close enough. Or, again, find the setting. But, alright. Well, anyway. Futzed around for enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of this a lot better now. So let's, uh, well, shit, let's just go. Let's just go creative mode. That storm lasts forever. I need to, uh, that's what I need to do, actually. I need to go into settings and change the length of maelstroms. Um... Although, I don't know. I mean, there is something to be said for the, the paving. Maybe I could extend the paving. Like, if I connect it to here, to around here, and I extend it out a little bit, that would look okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Um, still not sold on the walls, so, I don't know. I will play with this uh, off camera, finally get this thing done, and um, decoration, yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. I guess it depends on how badly you want to see the decorating, but uh, at least having having this ready. There's the aisle. Tower, glowing. But yeah, that's way too long. Get all this crap moved in, uh, and then we can actually go on to whatever I was actually planning to do um, next. And uh, I guess that would be exploring the island a bit, collecting some companions so we can get that going. And then maybe trying to take on Haven of the Cursed. I don't know, if we were having trouble killing those guys, I might have trouble killing these guys around here. And definitely going to the vault. Like, this will be the first vault we go to just because of proximity. But uh, between that, this little tower, the ships that are out here, especially this, this is another area, little fort area. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how, how well I can handle things. With uh, full companions, um, I think I, I'll have a, a much better chance of it, for sure. Uh, and getting maybe a, a horse or a rhino so I have a mount so I can wander around, get things done faster. 
but uh, anyway, we got stuff to do. The sun is out. Praise the sun. Yeah, I, I think this will turn out okay. All right, well, I will end this one here. I will see you next time.